I lost track of time. I'd better go and check on my family. Half of the cupboard is full of my creations. I like crafting things out of stuff I find in the woods. A cupboard full of handicrafts. Ellie is in charge of it. I don't know why, but she likes to keep it locked with a key. The mousetrap is ready to strike, luring its victim in with a tasty piece of cheese. Handsome bird that gave me a scar on my cheek. This past summer, Father and I found a magical glowing rock in the forest. It looked like amber and now we use it as a nightlight. My mother's diary. She went missing five years ago and this is all we have left of her. The way Father tells it, Mother was a very scholarly, spiritual person. She spent every spare moment in the library. We tried to make sense of her entries, but Mother wrote in an ancient language that my grandpa taught her when she was little. Father is cleaning his rifle. I shouldn't distract him without good reason. Lars, my teddy bear is missing. But you two are inseparable. When did your teddy run off? We were playing hide and seek in the yard. He usually hides behind the well. He thinks that's a good spot, silly teddy. But he's not there today. We'll find him. Don't worry. Cupboard of food. Hmm, there's only the teddy bear's body here. Father and I love shooting in the yard. Yesterday, I was only a couple of points away from beating him. A mean crowd tore off the teddy bear's head. How can I make it open its beak? I think the crowd will like a piece of cheese. Now I just need to sew the head back on. Ellie, can I borrow the key to your little cupboard? Maybe. What for? I think it'll speed up the search for your lost teddy bear. Really? All right. Take it. Catch! Cupboard full of handicrafts. Ellie is in charge of it. I... Teddy bear. Teddy is back. Time to tell Ellie the good news. Look who I found behind the haycart. Tell Teddy not to play with Krauss again. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Son, come here. Yes, father? It's meant to be a cold night. Be a good lad and chop some firewood. Right away, father.
That's one heavy axe. Father wants me to grow up to be like Hercules. Just need to carry the firewood into the house and I'm done. Done. Good job, son. Put the firewood in the stack by the fireplace. <sighs> I finished chopping the firewood. Now I can take a break. you. It's me, Marta. Remember how much fun we had playing tag last week? I've come to take you back to your family. I have a present for you. See how the pebbles glow. You will gain power and become a part of a grand scheme. Come out and try it on. If you don't like it, we'll leave. I promise. Body feels shivery, but in a nice way. I feel like I'm the queen of the world. I am pleased to welcome you, sister. But you're not the only child in the family, correct? That's right. I have a brother. Excellent. Where is he? Here. He's right up there. Tree hollow nearby, so I'm always on hand whenever I'm needed. A house spirit? I always thought they only existed in fairy tales. My dear Lars, the world is full of magic, but it isn't revealed to everyone. Here, drink this draft of honeyberry. It will calm you and give you energy. Who attacked our house? Oh, Lars, something terrible has happened. Evil has come to our land. In the last month, children have been going missing, and forest dwellers have been perishing. With a certain diadem, one little girl's mind was enslaved, and now she's gathering a whole army. A diadem? My sister, she just put it on. Dark magic. Now she is in the service of evil. Marta, Dorothy, and now Ellie. Things are getting worse by the day. The mystery lies in the butterflies. They are the ones controlling the forest people's minds while devouring their flesh from within. What do we do? How do we save Ellie? Did you see the giant with Marta? Ellie will probably get something like that as a servant. Simply going in and taking Ellie won't work. We need a plan. Go to the town, find my brother. He lives in the tailor's house. He even helps with the sewing and the housework. And he's awfully inquisitive. He's sure to know more than me. Take him some of my very own homemade mushroom cakes. They're his favorite. Thank you, Bakhtun. It was good to meet you. I'll be waiting for you and Ellie. May the forces of nature help you. The 
the end of the rope isn't being used for anything. Weird. Somebody must have been in a hurry. But I left the jack out in this bad weather. Judging by the sign, this is the tailor's house. I hope they'll be happy to see me here. It looks like the girls beat me to the tailors. I need to take a good look around. The house spirit probably hid in time. That's one huge claw. It looks like the tailor put up a good fight. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Don't be afraid, I won't hurt you. Come down here. Letter from a wood fairy. Addressed to the house spirit that lives in the tailor's fireplace. Uh huh? So the house spirit has a hideaway. I hope he got to it in time. idea. If I attach the pin to the end of a spool of yarn, I'll have a rudimentary fishing rod. Mm -hmm. It's got a good hold. I think I'm going to try climbing up. Come down and have some tasty milk. The poor thing is scared out of its mind. It's even afraid of me. All the scary stuff is over now. Be a good kitty and let me take this little key of you. I'm Lars. Backthorn told me to find you. Is he... <laughs> all right? Yes, he hid me when I was being chased and he told me you could help. I have to save my sister. Something terrible has happened to her. Lars, your sister's mind has been possessed by the diadem. I'm afraid that simply taking it off won't be enough. Backthorn said you were brave. Well, you're going to need your bravery now. Even my master, the brave Taylor, lost his battle against those creatures. He landed a few good hits, but they just got up and attacked again. I tried to help, but they slashed me with their claws, and I tumbled down into the basement. It seems the girls are hunting boys. Yes. They use them as living cocoons to turn larvae into new magical butterflies. The demon himself is harmless. He 
he hides in a <coughs> cave. And little girls do all his <coughs> dirty work for him. You need to hurry. Head east through the forest, and there you'll find the cave. <coughs> but how am I supposed to defeat evil? <coughs> I think he's dead. El is being possessed by evil. Who knows where, and I'm stuck here. Father, I have no idea what's wrong with him. <laughs> Lars, keep it together. You're going to find a way to lower the ladder, find the cave, and save your sister. Part of the house spirit's arm has been changed to a prosthesis with a hook on the end. What if this is the key to the way out? Ha! The prosthesis slotted perfectly into the mechanism. Another disappearance today, and who do I see at this scene of the crime? That's why I'm here. Let me go. I'm looking for my sister. Monsters attacked my house. I managed to escape, and now I'm here looking for answers. Ah, misfortunes never come singly. This morning, my sweet, clever princess disappeared. Someone crept into the royal garden, tore a maidservant to ribbons, and kidnapped my daughter. They're attacking the town too. The monsters are being controlled by girls who are possessed by evil. You are better informed than my advisor's boy. Who are you? Your Majesty, my name is Lars. I'm the son of a humble huntsman. All I know is that the evil creature giving orders to the girls is harmless, and it is holed up in a cave somewhere. I'm going there to rescue my little sister. Your words and deeds are worthy of respect. And you are not lacking in courage, I see. I'm willing to do anything for my family. I beseech you, find my daughter. I will grant you half a kingdom, whatever you want. You have my word as king. But... Here, this is her portrait. Please, boy, find her. All right, I'll do my best. My carriage is waiting outside. I'll take you as far as the forest. Time is of the essence. Go, find my little princess. And remember, good always conquers evil. Um, okay. Off with you. Great deeds await. Wait! Many dangers lie ahead of you. Here, take my dog. Thank you, my king. 